I really think it's fascinating that processors can only read binary digits, but with just this information, they're able to transform this this data and, and move it into various locations, whether it be register or data memory. And, and it's such a cohesive process. And so I wanted to look more into how this was actually done on the hardware level and document it here as this short and nice video. And I hope you enjoy. There's a flowchart I have of the top level hierarchy of what I had in mind. I basically, after building the processor, I can send out the data from the 32 registers. Their contents get converted and then they can be sent to the VJ controller and my text generation modules to process and display the data on the monitor. And uh, with these two switches, I'll be able to uh, reset the register file with the top switch and reset the display and the program counter with the middle switch. And uh, right now it's just running, but I'm going to uh, press these now. And the display reset, the program counter reset. We can monitor the values and see how they change. So yeah. I'm gonna watch for register 31 to change. One, two, three, four, five, register eight, and then register four. Yep, it seems like it's running the instructions in that loop that I set. And it should run for about 33 instructions until after the 33 instructions, then it'll get whatever junk value and it might uh, modify other registers. Yep. So it seems 33 instructions have just run and the register zero changed because uh, I had not filled up the entire instruction memory. And so there's the possibility of just random jump values uh, being read on accident to some other register. So this is good, but uh, I think some further improvements down the line. Uh, I would definitely look to see if the, instru uh, the data memory can be implemented because right now I'm only testing add and subtract instructions because there's no data memory to reference here on the screen. But there are some limitations with the FPGA and it have to be like definitely within what it can handle because there's only so many lookup tables and flip-flops and things like that. Um, uh, and that can also be improved on the coding side with uh, how many flip-flops and uh, logic lookup tables are going to be needed. <laughs> 